Hello everyone, today we are recycling an old leather coat to create a wonderful 3D tree piece that anyone can try. This technique is so easy and so rewarding. Let me show you how it's done. The original piece is for sale now on my website. Now what are we going to do today is something different. We are going to recycle an old canvas. I wonder how many of you watched the crazy episode when I was pouring the dish soap. If you haven't watched it, it was so much fun. <laughs> I, I've just washed the canvas, so that's why it's wet. So I still want a tree on this. I thought, why don't I do a different tree? Just fancy something different. As I said, this is going to be just another crazy, crazy idea that I have at the moment. I'm going to cover this with another tree. I want a 3D effect, but I'm thinking maybe just for the sake of having a plain background, I'm just going to quickly do one coat of paint. It will help me plan my next tree. I think I'll, I'll go with black since it's black. So black or even quicker, I just found a super cheap ultra spray paint that was just in a pound shop. So maybe that will be the quickest. I'll just go with one layer. That was super quick. It was just one minute. I didn't even do it carefully. It's going to be dry probably in a few minutes. Look at all the dots. My tree is gone now. I was going to do some pour or something with a paste perhaps, but then I had this crazy idea and once I have a crazy idea, I just can't stop myself. So it's going to be completely bonkers. I hope you don't mind because you know, I'm always trying something new here and I actually enjoy the different things the most because I never know about the outcome. Don't know if it's going to work. I do want a tree, but I don't want the roots. I do want some branches with leaves. That's okay. I'm, I'm just sketching. So if this is the main, the main branch. Well, I'm really improvising here. You, you'll see in a minute what, what I've got in my, on my mind. There has to be something going this way, definitely. This part will be not seen. Always, I'm thinking, you know, composition. Does it look good? Or do we need changes? I think that's plenty. I think I am ready to use glue gun. I'll just go over certain sections and I want them quite pronounced. We will not see it really. And I'm not going to pour over it either. I've got, I've, got a, I've got something else on my mind. I'm sorry, I'm giggling because I'm getting excited. But <clears throat> yes, I forgot to tell you, I was just using something like a Posca pen, just a different one, paint marker, because I wanted to be seen easily. That's why I needed white. Time for glue gun action. And I really don't have to be careful at all with this one. You will see later on why. I'm going to go over those sections because I want this trunk to be quite fat. It will be more visible once it cools down. At the moment it's kind of transparent. I'm done. Can you see that? Now you can see really well. Okay, I think I'm happy with the tree. This is what I'm going to attach. Do you know what that was? This was an old leather coat very soft leather and as you can see i just ripped it apart and i thought i'm going to use it on the painting i am hoping it's going to work well but we never know unfortunately i don't have a piece big enough but we'll see if i can figure out how to attach this this section so let's just glue this one i'm going to glue it as it is and then i'm going to trim the edges well i'm, I'm very excited <laughs> I'm just wondering, should I apply glue on the canvas or on the leather? I'll use all-purpose glue. It says extra strong. We'll see how strong it is. Probably need a lot. I'm trying to be quick on one section. Maybe I won't do the edges yet. I need to see how that works. Okay. Let's apply. All right. Oh yes, you can see. I'm hoping we'll really see the edges. Wow, we have a nice branch here. 
Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is so much fun. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wait for it to be a bit sticky. I'm thinking. Don't know what this will be called. Painting with lead. <laughs> okay, I wa waited a couple of minutes. Now you can see, oh yes, now all I'm doing is finding those sections and touching them. How nice is that? Look at this! Oh, and in a minute I will have to decide what to do with the attachment. Oh, this is so beautiful does look like a real branch, doesn't it? This is not the end. I've got some plans. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a line where I want to cut it. Uh, let me see. That's probably here, the furthest I can go. That's so unfortunate that I don't have it big enough. If you ever do it, you have one piece, not like me, trying to stitch it now. Also, in case you missed the big news, I now have a Patreon. You can access extended versions of my weekly episodes for just $2. There are also many other perks. Uh, head over there to find out more and get access to exclusive content. Okay. So let's attach this section. I feel like sewing now, not like I actually can't sew at all. <laughs> but this is fun. I hope you don't think I'm crazy. But you know, I, I can see it in my head. I can see it looking good. So I persevere. It's very rare. Actually, I don't remember when I gave up on a project. Maybe I'll use super glue on the very edge. This is just in case, because I don't want that part to be separated. And then, oh well, just the edges and the rest, the normal glue. Huh? Super glue bits, holding them down. Now gluing the last section. If you use any glue like this, you should be working in a well-ventilated area. Oh, yay. Almost done. That's what we have at the moment. The glue is still drying. I just trimmed the edges. Well, it's getting late, so <laughs> that's my best time. I can't help, but I just need to try some shadows. I have to. Of Mars Black. And I'm going all along the branches. See how nicely everything is seen now and looks so much more 3D, doesn't it? Oh, by the way, I do have a leather painting that's almost, I think it's over 20 years old. And it, the leather wasn't varnished and it's still in perfect condition. So all it needs is just dusting. That's it. No varnish, nothing. So if I varnish this, I would spoil it later on because anything wet leaves marks, but it does get dry. Well, I've been wondering whether I can create the same color as the background or darker, just a shadow to add a bit, just a different value. So I'm looking at the color. What do I see? I kind of see phthalo green, burnt amber, maybe burnt sienna. But well, let's try with these and perhaps white. Let's mix those two together and see what happens. Okay, that's an interesting colour. I quite like it, to be honest. Let's make a bit lighter and darker. So adding white will really show me the colour, because at the moment it's quite dark. But if I add a bit of white with a bit of yellowish value, how about some here? So this corner is going to be slightly lighter. How about the really dark one here? And this is what I call fun, just 
seeing that something works and experimenting. I was going to make it black, but this this green works for me. My brush is almost dry, you know, I don't have much on my brush. So touching and then rubbing on. That really gave me some different greens. Ooh, loving it, you know. I'm sorry, but every time I'm happy with something, I'm getting too excited. I sincerely didn't expect the paint to work so well on this leather. Very nice effect, in my humble opinion. All right, time for the best part. Gold, yes, yes, gold. All the branches will pop in a minute. This is my favorite gold of all time. Uh, Artesa's gold, just the medium gold. I don't know, I really like the color. I like the way it covers everything nicely. Look at this. Just look at that. And I, I do want to use my finger because I don't want anything like perfect with a brush. I want some highlights, but I definitely don't want them everywhere the same way. Now we'll see where the branches really are. And because I can I can feel everything with my finger, can apply it well. Some places a faint indication, that's enough. If it's too much again, quickly with a wipe. I, th I think it's amazing. <laughs> I hope you will agree with me. But... And now we, I can really see the glue, the structure, you know, the little knots. Look what I have. Can you guess what I'm going to do? I dry them up and I'm going to paint them. Time to paint some leaves. I'll probably need, well at least I'm thinking two layers to make them really covered because this is semi-opaque. Leaves are bone dry, so they can be painted like this. So this is, well, I definitely need another layer. Well, I don't know how many I'll need. I'll probably need like 10, but I'm going to do bigger ones as well. So what I have to do now is to think of a nice arrangement for my leaves. Which ones will look best where? They are so cute. And I've got one that's different. I think that's my final composition, shuffling them. Look at this. This one is actually golden. That's the gold leaf, proper gold leaf. I thought it was cute just having one. I'm taking time to make sure they're really well stuck, each one of them. Now this trickster, where should it go? I want to bend it slightly this way. Okay. You see how nicely the stem went into the crevice. I'm wearing my gloves for gluing, for health and safety reasons. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, I am going to varnish every single leaf. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'll call the piece finished. You see how nicely the stems went into all those little crevices. Nothing seen now. Well, there we are. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it was something completely different for you, but I hope you enjoyed it. And apologies to any fans of my antibacterial piece. Don't forget that the original piece is for sale now on my website. There is also an extended version of this video on my Patreon. And huge thank you to all my Patreons. It's such a wonderful way to support my channel. Let me know what you thought of this piece in the comments. And I can't wait to see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.